So today I'm going to try this rule one mass gainer. This is not your typical protein. This is a carb loaded protein, but it's from clean carbs. They say, so it's from, um, organic quinoa, organic blueberry powder, ginger root powder, rice bran, oat fiber, uh, and the protein blend is whey protein concentrate, whey protein isolate, milk protein isolate, mycelial casein, and cocoa processed with alkali, lipid blend, uh, triglycerides, flaxseed powder, avocado powder, sunflower oil, which I don't know, I thought seed oils were bad. What the heck do I know? And natural and artificial flavors. Yeah. Sucralose and stevia leaf extract contains milk and soy. So it only has 30 grams of protein, which is not crazy. That's like a normal amount of protein for a protein powder, but it has 99 grams of carbs. So made Merca, three to one carb ratio. So if you're like me and you, it says also to mix five ounces with one pack. So I'm gonna do that while I talk. If you're like me and you have a coach and you track your macros and you're basically in a cut, which is me. Five ounces of water. Five ounces is also not very much compared to normally, you know, you do eight to 10 or six to 12, whatever, like in that range. This is a little less than normal. And we're gonna try the chocolate fudge, which has a little more than the vanilla version. It has a little more, I think one more gram of carbs and one more gram of sugar than the vanilla one. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this basically, I have 130 is my max allowed grams of, of uh, carbs for the day. So if I drink this whole thing, I won't be able to have carbs the rest of the day. Okay, and we're doing it in water. Obviously I have some really good carb master chocolate milk that I could mix it with that has no fat, okay. This only has seven grams of carbs, six grams of sugar, and 11 grams of protein per eight ounces. So I could have put this in here and it would have probably made it taste even better. But I use water to review it for you guys so you know the legit flavor. For only five ounces of water, I'm surprised how thin it is. And I've honestly never had a mass gainer, like a carb drink it's not super chocolatey it's sweet it does have a little bit of that kind of brownie chocolate flavor It's not bad at all. It's pretty good. It's really easy to drink. It's not thick. I don't like that they, I don't like when companies put all that weird thickening stuff in there. And some people I know do like that. Like Jason Dunn puts things in his smoothies to make them thick. Uh, me personally, I like this. I'm more worried about the flavor and the macronutrients than I am about the thickness. Um, sometimes when it's really thick, it's hard to drink it. So, um, flavor, I would give this a seven. I think this is a decent chocolate that anybody could drink. Not the best chocolate, nowhere near the worst. Uh, yeah. And if I was trying to gain weight or if I was having a hard time with carbs, I would totally do something like this. So yeah, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Clean gainer. Peace.